This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Well, great balls of fire, Bubba. What happened, Bilford? That crazy son of a sow blew right through that four-way stop of Main Street and plowed into my cowboy Cadillac. Your what? My pickup truck. And I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, Ted. Oh, quit your bitching, Bilford, and talk with those side busters at the Advocates Law Firm. When I got busted up last month, well, shoot, they made sure those snakes at the insurance company played fair. Boy, howdy. Even that creepy so-and-so Kyle earned his keep. So if you get injured, the Advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com. What's up? It's your boy, the Ted Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Unfortunately, what you're about to hear is real. The members of this radio program are simply not that bright. Or what some people would call educated. They are merely stupid. They're not trying to offend anyone on purpose. And all have played doctors on TV. You have been warned and are cordially invited to join the party. This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Get, 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 get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off the kicks, Bill. The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy. And flying high as a kite. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. You know what they say shake your radio more than three times, and you're playing with it. You're listening to the men's room. Wow! How do I have a guy? Welcome to season 17, episode number 3683. <laughs> <laughs> Along with Steve and Thrill Hill. <laughs> the Ted Smith. Ooh. And my car. Montgomery. And you are the men's room. Watch out today. Once again, we play Big Dummy. Ted's Meat and Potatoes has popular delivery options and trendy liquor. <laughs> Old trendy liquor. <laughs> We won't play profile this. <laughs> Plus headlines, Mr. Shot of the Day, fun with listener emails, and everyone's favorite, TV time with Ted. Click, clack, <laughs> drinking and drunk. All right, here we go. Spirit Airlines leaves 200 stranded in the airport, but offers a rental car for them to drive home. Meanwhile, a man in Scotland receives the world's first double hand transplant, and once again, he can use a comb. <laughs> to Canada, where amusement park riders are stuck for 25 minutes when a huge storm rolls in. Florida man who breaks into restaurant shows cops where his hands have been. And Taco Bell postpones the production of Mexican Pizza the Musical. That's right. That is all coming on today's very special episode of The Men's Room. And now, here's the question. All the bitches, good day to you and yours. All right, today is the day that we play Big Dummy, the game show that rewards you for your stunning ignorance. And here's how it works. You call us. We will spin the category wheel. We, there we go. Thank you, Ted. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We will spin the category (laughs) wheel, and then we'll ask you a question from that category. But here's where Big Dummy separates itself from your average, more reputable game show. We will continue to ask you questions until you get one right. Because, as always, we want you to leave here smarter than you showed up. Now, so far this year, our biggest dummy has been the lovely and talented Danny who thought Peter Pan was a dish that cannibals used to cook penis and found a way to answer 16 consecutive questions wrong. Can you do better? Well, of course you can. So give us a call, and off we go on Big Dummy. Big contestant to play Big Dummy, call 206-421-ROCK. You can like the Men's Room on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Men's Room Live, and send those emails to the Men's Room at KISW.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. 
Oh, drat, I was driving along minding my own business when that vulgar leech hit my beamer with his pickup truck. I fear I've fractured my clavicle. I say, old boy, don't simply put it in the hands of your insurance company to sort it out. Talk with the dedicated world solicitors at the Advocates Law Firm. Pipe down, you old sod. The Advocates will see your case through to the bitter end and won't sleep a fortnight until they have victory in their grasp. Jolly good old man, jolly good indeed. You get injured, the Advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. The debauchery rolls on. You're listening to The Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. 99.9 KISW. Hold the tools, away we go. Welcome to Season 17, Episode number 3,683. What a large and in charge program we have for you today. Once again, the head chef in the house. Oh, yeah. Ted's meat potatoes. Popular delivery items. And trendy liquor. Trendy liquor. Trendy liquor. What are people drinking? I'm going to say that as the summer White approaches, ball. yeah, they're going to start getting into the seltzer game. Yeah. Well, seltzer's established. That's not trendy anymore. Okay. Is it not trendy anymore? That, well, it's not on the list, but I don't... I guess it's not right. It's so ubiquitous now. People yeah, buy it. These thousand. mixed drinks that are becoming popular are these drinks that are already prepared in a can. Or is it like Zima back in the day? It's a combination. Okay. Right. All right. That's what I'm saying. It's uh, liquors, cocktails. Old trendy liquor. Old tr- trendy liquor. Trendy liquor. Is that liquor. not a bar yet? <laughs> it's, or a liquor store. I'd go. <laughs> and as people have been uh, getting delivery like uh, crazy, we find out what the people have been uh, getting uh, delivered what, to their door. Hey, what are they ordering the most of in the past year? That's coming up with the head chef and Ted's meat and potatoes. Oh, uh, what else we got for you today? Oh, of course, we'll head on over to the Odyssey app for a little men's room happy hour, episode number 174. And once again, we get a little dirty big dummy. Mm-hmm. And uh, today, you're going to try to figure out uh, which is not the name of an actual porn star. So we have three names that are real porn stars, one name that is not. For an example, is Oscar Meyer? I'm going to say yes. Is that real a real porn, porn star? star? Uh, let's see here. Parker Johnson. Is that a real? <laughs> yeah. Is that a real porn star? Randy Manroot. There's so many to choose from here. Faye Runaway. <laughs> is that a real porn star? Faye Runaway. Faye Runaway, yes. <laughs> Dirty Big Dummy on the way with the Men's Room Happy Hour. If you don't have the Odyssey app, download it now. Absolutely free. Search for the Men's Room Happy Hour channel. That goes live at 6 as we go live to the Happy Hour and the Odyssey app every Monday through Friday right after the program. Keep in mind, this is an explicit program. Adults only. Please keep the kids out of the room. And you're invited to, to play along as you do with regular Big Dummy mm-hmm. with a little Dirty Big Dummy. And today is the day we play the game known as Big Dummy. It's an easy game to play. Spin the category wheel. You're either playing for Team Sober or Team Not Sober. So far, our biggest dummy, the lovely Danny, who took 16 questions to get one right. Every time we do like to play Big Dummy, we do a men's room poll. Last time, we asked you. You have to share one. And your choices were a toothbrush. As mm-hmm. it turned out, that was the inspiration. Sarah Silverman says that she and her boyfriend, they share a toothbrush. Uh, other options, a sexual partner, a password, or underwear. And as we ask you to follow us on Twitter at Men's Room Live, we put the poll up there every week. Here's how the voting went down. The one item you said, absolutely not. I'm not sharing this with anybody. Believe it or not, 15% said underwear. I can believe that. I do believe that. Which I've done, and it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, just, it is just weird. Right. At 16%, barely squeaking by the underwear, would be the toothbrush. 22% of you said, you know what? I'll share sexual partners. Yeah. So almost a fifth of you said that, that. That's where I'm going. Overwhelmingly... 47% said, I'm going to share that password. Although that's probably going to get you into a lot more trouble than sharing a sexual partner. Yeah. I think you can get more trouble with a password than you probably can oh, a sexual course. partner. But either way, that's how the uh, the voting shook out. And uh, today, as we uh, get set for the uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up, we get a little three-day weekend, mm-hmm. the unofficial start of summer. I believe it's the start of summer in a lot of other places. But here, we, you know, we, have to, we, have, we wait a few weeks. But either way, it's officially the beginning of it. Okay? You know what? I've had some watermelon this week. Let's call it summer. Yeah! That's Ted, all it takes. Ted's at, it's like it's like a box of Tony Phil. Yeah. Well, Ted, eat this watermelon we've left on his counter. If he does, <laughs> how come you don't have any summer early, starting? How come you don't have any early rules on watermelon like eggnog? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ted. Well, because it's Memorial Day. So well, it's not yet. Not, not yet. yet. I mean, I get eggnog in a what, like mid-September. You're all like, dude, come on. 
It's too uh, early. Well, if I'm eating watermelon in February, I'll have this conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just said it yourself. <laughs> I get eggnog in September. You're like a child. Mm-hmm. I Christmas? am like a child. It's a Christmas. That's right. In my mouth. Yeah. People are going to start barbecuing and grilling and everything else and a lot of good outdoor foods. But either way, we're going to uh, talk about methods of cooking today. Mm-hmm. And we've uh, had polls before. We said eliminate cheese or get rid of meat or whatever the right. deal is. Today, it's not so much the food as it is the preparation and the method of cooking said food. So you're going to give away the the method. So in other words, you can still have these foods. You just can't have them prepared this way. Right. Mm-hmm. The first item is going to be grilled or barbecued. Mm-hmm. So that includes anything that you would put on a grill. It doesn't mean you can't boil a hot dog. Mm-hmm. You can boil your hot dog. We know we're going to get a million questions. You know, like as far as pizza goes, baked is one of the options on here. But he's like, well, you can put a pizza on the grill. Then do that. Yeah, you do that then for the rest of your life. Good luck going out. Good luck ordering a pizza off the grill from someplace. Yeah. Real pizza. I mean, really. You're going to have to make that every time you want it. That's the way it goes down. So grilled and barbecued is number one. And when we say grilled, fajitas, Mm -hmm. uh, hell, a a panini sandwich is technically grilled. A grilled cheese sandwich. Any hey, burger from a fast food joint. If it's a flat, if it's on a flat pan, if it's on a grill, mm-hmm. it, you can't have it that way. And that does basically, in my mind, eliminate the hamburger. Sure. Unless you want to bake one. I don't know how you're going to make one. Number two is fried. Oh, nice rhyme. Or deep fried. Fried or deep fried foods. They are completely gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Out of the equation. Uh, yeah, you can't fry or deep fry anything. Number three is baked. Baking is probably the one that I utilize the most, it seems like. I bake a lot. I don't, not that I bake, I just cook a lot in my oven. Yeah, yeah it's like I don't bake a lot, but then I thought you would eliminate pizza. And even right, the right. stuff, like we were saying earlier, even things you don't want, you go, ah, when it's oven cooked, it's not as good, like wings or fries. You can still cook them in that oven, though. You can. Yeah. yeah. But how excited mm-hmm. do you get about baked fries? You're like, yeah. yay. I mean, the only ones that are any good are the seasoned curly fries, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. That's why so many That's why so many people go to the tot well if they're cooking at home. Yeah, if you got to bake your potato tots powder. Tots are the most tots. forgiving as far as the uh, the best thing to have. And the fourth is boiled. And you go, I don't, yeah, boiled, you know, whatever. Uh, pasta's gone. Rice is gone. Right. For the most part. You say, like, well, you steam rice. No, you boil it first, <laughs> and then it steams out, man. You're you're boiling this. And when you steam something, you're boiling water underneath it. It counts. Right, gang. the method yeah. is gone. Unless it's cold soup, soup is gone. Yeah. Right. Gazpacho for, for everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, chili is gone. Anything in a pot. If it bubbles, it's right. gone. So, yeah, all right. right. It's a good point. I didn't think about the crock pot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's boiled for the most part. Well. So you got to put liquid in there, and the liquid has to get hot. We'll just call it to boiling. cook the rest of right. the things. That 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 is boiled. So you're going to eliminate one method of cooking. Will it be grilling or barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked or boiled? That is our men's room poll. All right, the game is a big dummy. Two zero six four two one rock. Steve, who is our first big contestant ready to play the game, or first contestant ready to play the big game? Hello. Well, she might be big. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Julie. Welcome to the men's room. <laughs> Hola, gentlemen. Hola. Hola. What's up, Big Julie? <laughs> not much, man. What's happening? Big Julie, are you sober, not sober? <laughs> sober. All right. Welcome to Big Dummy. Okay, Julie, let's find out how you sit here. Eliminate one method of cooking. Grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. Where are you going? I'm going to have to go grilling and barbecuing. Huh. huh. So no yeah. more. St- so you can do a steak. You just got to do a steak in the oven. Yeah, yeah. You can find a yep. way around things. Yep. Just no grill. Yep. Mm. Yep. That'd be a tough one for me. Somebody says, do hot dogs on a campfire qualify as grilled barbecue? Is it over an open flame? I mean, do we have to split hairs on all We're going to have this all yes. We're going to have all this all It's over an open flame. What if I sous vide? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, uh, you have your sous vide hot dog. Is that dog. boiled? It is boiled, and you mm. could, you could, if you pick boiled, you can't sous vide anymore. I do like this text. Coffee and tea is technically boiled. Yes, it is. Correct. That Ooh. sucks. Mm. So drink Coke hot and Hot chocolate. All right, Julie. Coffee's the only what? thing that makes me rethink boiled. Because I was That's the pre- one. Well, I know I look like somebody eats a lot of pasta, but for whatever reason, I just don't eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> like, like I was saying, like if I have anything Italian like that, it's lasagna. But you can't have lasagna unless you just I'm bake baking. the noodles. He's baking, yeah. but you're not boiling the noodles first. You're oh, bake, right. you're baking them hard. Well, no, they do have the pre. They, they do. They, they do, do have the they pre do, ones. They do have them, right? So you can do that. 
You know what, though? If I have a choice, I'm getting a pizza every day of the week over anything else to tag. You boil the lasagna noodles before you put them in? Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to. Really? Unless you buy the ones that are kind of like pre... That's why they dry out. That's why your lasagna is so dry, Mike. It's never dry. It's fantastic. You just put them in there? Yeah. Are Uh, they hard noodles or are they kind of pre-soaked? No, they're hard noodles. Really? They are raw noodles. Okay. What if it's somebody else's boiled? Like, can I make a Stouffer's <laughs> lasagna? Oh, <yeah. laughs> well, you know what? It's probably not bad if you oversauce the living hell out of it. Yeah. So everything has to soak in. It's probably pretty tasty. I'll give it a try. Yeah. All right, Julie, shut up. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> yeah, Julie. Yeah, running her freaking mouth. Ah, sorry, sorry. All right. Here is your question. What is Joey's favorite food on the TV show Friends? Pizza? That's a solid guess. I'll say pasta since he's Italian. I like this is such a ridiculous answer. Sandwiches. I was going to say I think right. it's sandwiches. No he always specific went on and sandwich. on about sandwiches. Right, just sandwiches. Doesn't matter what kind, just sandwiches in general. All right, the question. How many daily tides are there? Two. Ta-da! You are correct. High and low. Yes. <laughs> Right there. It's only one high tide a day. Right in the tide. Yeah. We got to get out of here. There's medium tide coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a different. So, uh, let's see. It says uh, Allie from, where to go? Allie from Seven Seas Brewing here. <sighs> from no, the crush us. No. A couple beer, other beers boiled. Beers boiled. Oh. Hey, oh. this is something to think about. Then I'm not oh. getting rid of boiling. Seriously. Like, I drink no. beer every freaking day of the week. Do they boil seltzers? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think in all, in, a, in all honesty, I think the one that you can get rid of here is baked. No. Yes, I do. No. Yes. I think that's the easiest one. You can do things on the grill. Trust me, I have a big green egg cookbook. And there's you can make desserts on the you can bake things in that thing. If you have a different way to do I it, mean, it's a you grill. Can, but you can, but the oven is so convenient. There's a million yeah, ways to make you anything. Can do it. I like, use the oven every day, man. Honestly, whether it's a frozen pizza, the Texas toast that I have, I bake chicken all the doggone time. Right. That oven is constantly in use. I use my toaster oven a lot, too. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, the toaster, right? I haven't yeah. had a microwave in like four or five years, but yeah, the toaster oven's kidding. fine. That's yeah. what I, prefer. I think I have to get rid of the grill, man. I'm and with you. I'm it's grill. not that I won't miss every single thing that I eat that comes from the grill, but as I go through uh, my... My general menu, I think I probably eat grilled food the least. Does the toaster count as baking? Yes. Okay, good. Right, you're turning it up to the toaster oven. Yeah, right. Man. Come on. Oh, you mean the toaster toaster? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that qualifies the, baking it's the toaster. It's the same thing. It's just upright instead of laying down, right? You know what? You're right. You know? Turn it sideways, slide it in horizontally. It's a non open flame heat source. Convection, <laughs> con- convention <laughs> oven. It's, it's the same doggone thing. All right. Hello, Tommy. Welcome to the men's room. Hello, Tommy. Hola, bitches. Hola. Hola. Tommy, you, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. All right. Are you sober or are you not sober, Tommy? Um, I just ate a bunch of mushrooms. <laughs> okay, Tommy. <laughs> Have they kicked in yet? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Tommy, I think you're going to do great, actually. Mm-hmm. I really do. All right. Eliminate one method of cooking. Grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. Boiled. Boiled, not baked. Okay. <laughs> of all no, the Bobby. boiled foods that are out there, what would you miss the most? Wow. Well, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> the boiling's the right answer. Beer. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess all liquor's technically boiled. Shut up, Ted. It's got to go through the... You got to heat it up. It's got to go through the still and the thumper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, oh, man. I can't give that up, then. The reason I mentioned the thumper is I watch Moonshiners. I was going to tell or, or mention you clearly have watched something, I'm guessing, in the last week. <laughs> based on the fact that you brought up the thumper. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> All right, here's your question. The hymn for which branch of the military begins with a line from the halls of Montezuma? Marines. I knew it. I knew it's it. It's the most it. famous one. I knew it. Yeah. I had a pretty good idea. Do you know, like, I know that one, but do we? does anybody else know the hymn for another branch of, of arms? Service? Negative. I don't. Hey. That's what I'm saying. That You hear that song. Hey. You do, but you have to know it's the Marines. Right. I'm just saying, I'm isn't, sure the Army has one. Isn't the Navy anchors away? Anchors no, away. No, it's in the Navy. From village yeah. people. Yeah, they updated. You can sail the seven seas <laughs> in the Navy. Come on, boy, put your mind at ease. <laughs> in the Navy. Hello, Jeremy. Welcome to the men's room. 
Hola, Bajola. Hola. Jeremy, sober or not sober? Sober at the moment. All right, Jeremy, welcome to the show, Big Dummy. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're going to eliminate one method of cooking. Will it be grilling, barbecuing, fried or deep fried, baked or boiled? Ah, oh, man, it's a tough one. I got to go uh, deep fried. I know it's dumb, but deep fried. Deep fried or fried. Fried yeah. egg included. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anything well, fried? <laughs> I can bake it. Pancakes fried in a pan. <laughs> I guess you could bake an egg. Yeah. You could bake an egg. You could boil an egg. Hard boiled eggs, man, every morning. You could poach them. You eat hard boiled eggs every morning? Uh, typically, yeah. How bad do your farts smell? <laughs> uh, God, you don't even want to. Yeah. I just, oh, uh, all right. Mm -hmm. I just know when yeah. I eat a lot of eggs, it smells like I ate a lot of eggs. All right, Jerry. You like to eat first thing in the morning. That's awesome. All right. Good protein, right? It is good protein. Here's your question Which children's character lives on the fictional island of Sodor? Or Sodor. S O D O R. Fictional character, uh, Barney. You know, I don't know where Barney lives, to be honest with you. Dallas. And if I found yeah. out, I'd beat his ass. He lives in Dallas. <laughs> that would be Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh! Yeah. Come on, give me some Ringo. It's pronounced the door. <laughs> All right, well, we're talking about children's characters. What is the name of the group of dogs that protect Adventure Bay? Adventure Bay? What is that, Peter Pan or something? Nah, Paw Patrol. Patrol. It is, in fact, Paw Patrol. I was like, I can see those little dogs. All right, have you gotten into Paw Patrol lately? Yeah, I haven't watched a lot of Paw Patrol. Okay, don't. <laughs> I can't explain. This show just makes me angry. I know there's a good lesson, and it's all about friendship, and they do the right thing, and I just like, F those dogs. Put them down. All right. <laughs> I know. Seriously, man. Sounds like you need a solution. <laughs> Call Pet Solution. <laughs> all right, your question. Here's the two paws you asked for. Oh, 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 oh damn. Oh, no. <laughs> solution handled. I got my paw belt. <laughs> right. <laughs> we just said your card says solved. Oh, no. Right. What was Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Well, I'm sorry, was Franklin D. Roosevelt the president at the beginning or the end of the Great Depression? And all right, all right, very good. Nice well done. Of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, this makes just kill me. Good. <laughs> More big dummy coming up. Two zero six four two one. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Well, great balls of fire, Bubba. What happened, Bilford? That crazy son of a sow blew right through that four-way stop of Main Street and plowed into my cowboy Cadillac. Your what? My pickup truck. And I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, Ted. Oh, quit your bitching, Buford, and talk with those side busters at the Advocates Law Firm. When I got busted up last month, well, shoot, they made sure those snakes at the insurance company played fair. Boy, howdy. Even that creepy so-and-so Kyle earned his keep. So if you get injured, the Advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 99.9 KISW. The shenanigans continue. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow morning, Arnold Mycock. Yeah! Gets up at 4.30. Mm -hmm. That's the big story right there. And like a, a man in Oregon. Stay up, go Mike. To, he's going to go to a gas station. Are you going to pump gas? Are you yeah. doing windows? I'm doing windows, man. Checking the oil? I don't think they'll let me pump the gas because I'll, I'll start handing out too much gas. That's a good point. You going to autograph a dipstick? Ooh, that's not bad. You're going to get more gas than allotted? 
I mean, I'm, I'm just that nice of a guy. Okay. And it's not his gas. I'm about to it? say, it's not, the, it's not my gas I'm giving up. The, right the first I, 90. I'll speak for Mike. No. He's not giving out more than a lot of. The first 99 <laughs> cars at the Crescent Market at Snoqualmie Casino tomorrow morning. Lineup starts at 530. Five gallons of regular unleaded gas. Yeah. And Mike, just so you know, the house. you were not privy to this conversation, but our very own Ryan Castle was buzzing around the office earlier. Indeed. He is grabbing stuff to set up uh, for the big gas giveaway tomorrow. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. And Miles and I mentioned. So he's going to be there at 3.30. Uh, he will be there very early. Uh, he pointed that out. But he's <laughs> also going to check to make sure they have squeegees, because if they don't, he's going to buy He's you. buying one. Oh, what a kind he, individual. He's going to get oh, you an is. oil rag. He's going to get you all the things that you need. Okay. You know, I really miss that about being a kid when everything was full service. You Pull into a place. Yeah. Somebody make sure your oil is fine sure, before man. you took off. Or just make sure that you can see out your windows. These were important things. They are. It's not really things that that doesn't happen anymore. Mirrors. You can be the guy that steps up and says, "We're bringing the we're bringing That's this right. back." You know what? <laughs> Put me to work, Snowball. <laughs> we're bringing this back. I do windows. That's right. We're gonna call him Squeegee Mike. Now, Squeegee Mike. I'll uh, I'll chew the side when you fill up with gas. Do you clean your windows? Yeah, I, I do, do every too. time. I do, I do too. Every time, I do too. I'm still that guy. I'm like ah, front I'm, and back, man. I know. That window gets absolutely. There disgusting. could be eight cars. I could be at a shell station with eight different pots. Yeah. I'm the only one. That's right. Cleaning the window. I do it every time. I do feel like that, that old guy. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, tomorrow morning, lineup starts at five thirty. Yes. Five thirty tomorrow, Crescent Market at Snoqualmie Casino. Uh, Mike Hawk, you, you will be there. Ninety nine cars. The yep. first ones get five gallons of regular unleaded gas. Mm-hmm. We start pumping at seven. That's uh, that's tomorrow morning. All right, the game is a uh, big dummy two zero six four two one rock. Who is our next contestant? Ready to play the big game? Yeah. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome to the men's room. Hello, Rebecca. You can't hear me. Oh, there you there are. There she is. He can hear you, Rebecca. Are you sober? Not sober. You know, I just had a little men's room. I might be getting drunk because I'm feeling... I don't mm-hmm. take much, right? Okay. Rebecca, let me ask you a question. Your lucky strikes, filtered or unfiltered? Unfiltered. I don't... That, huh. I never would have guessed it. <laughs> Rebecca, you need to eliminate one method of cooking from our men's room poll. Will it be grilled, barbecued, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled? Eliminate it? Yes. In other words, you're never going to be able to cook this way again. Okay, grilled. All right. Okay. All right, Rebecca of the Echo Land. Here is your question. What California coastal town hosted the first major rock concert back in 1967? Ouch. Um, California coastal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there Long Beach? Newport? Monterey? Monterey. Yeah, man. It's also, oh, where, yeah. The, it's also where the hippies died. It's where the Jimmy, Jimmy yes. the movement, yes. as people talk about, oh, the Monterey yeah. Pop Festival. Right. Yeah. yeah, stuff went bad. Now it's just a cannery. Yeah. I'm like almost 60. I... <laughs> yeah, you probably should know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, Monterey is beautiful. I've never been. Oh, man. It's worth it. Yeah. Actually, the only thing I've ever heard about Monterey, other than the Pop Festival, is that it's beautiful, so... It's got an awesome aquarium. They can things there. Hey, There's a bubble gum. Find out mm-hmm. what was in that guy's belly button and the cure you wanted, because I could give it to you. And I tried. I really did. <laughs> Run that ball. Yeah. 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 Once again, that's the colors. Here are the seven words you can't say on the radio. <laughs> Sucker, mother and please keep those words in mind when calling. Now back to the program. No brown words there, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, my nephew tried to get me to listen to you guys like 10 years ago, and I wait now every day just to get my laugh. But I just started listening within the last few months, and I feel really bad. You guys are awesome. Oh, thank oh, you. Hey, we, we just appreciate, appreciate the that. fact that you listen, man. Yeah, a lot of people, they Seriously. started listening 10 years ago and then stopped 10 years ago. No, I doubt if he did. I'm afraid he's going to hear me. <laughs> He'll never recognize your voice. You're fine. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, here is your question, multiple choice. What is the tallest dog breed in the world? Is it Mastiff, Great Dane, or Irish Wolfhound? Irish Wolfhound. That's a fact. My next door neighbor had one. I'd never heard of the dog before. I did not know the dog existed. So it looks like a huge spinone, basically. So Spinone? The spinone? The, or, yeah, it kind of has longer hair for the most part. I know what it looks What's, like. What's a Spinone? I know what an Irish Wolfhound Ita- is. It's an Italian uh, uh, dog. Yeah. But a Spinone? But it, but it has the same kind of hair. Hey, spinone. spinone! Yeah, it sounds I've, like a guy's last name. Joe Sp- Spinone. Spinone, yeah. yeah. I've never seen... Okay. That's as far as the face goes. Oh! Right? So I didn't know that was called a Spinone. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> 
I so call it a dog. Yeah, that's just the dog. Wolfhound's got the same kind of like hair. That, but I just I did not I did not know the breed existed. Mm-hmm. He brings this thing home and it's a puppy, and I could not believe it was a puppy. <laughs> How so big was it as three, a puppy? It was not a puppy. No. Right. It, it was still eight cups of food a day, puppy. That's the only problem with those dogs, man. Like, I like a big dog, but the amount of food they eat is ridiculous. By the way, if you're wondering, the tallest dog in the world is a Mastiff, but the tallest breed is Irish Wolfhound. Okay. They Ooh. pointed that out. They said, look, right now, the record holder is some, I don't know, Marmaduke-looking son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Game is Big Dummy, 206 421 Hello, Riley. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. Riley, sober, not sober. Oh, definitely not sober today. All right, Riley, welcome to the program of Big Dummy. Okay, our men's room poll. you got to eliminate one method of cooking. Grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled? Uh, so, Miles, i got to go with you on this one because I, I grill all the time. i got three different grills for three different kinds of occasions, and I figure whatever you can bake, you can put on the grill. Uh, we go camping all the time. We, we make brown, uh, brownies on the lake. Just on the grill. It's sure. fantastic. So I'm going to get rid of breaking. All right. What are the different occasions you have these grills for? Obviously, you have the camping grill. But after that, what? Uh, I got the camping one. I got one I use at home. And then I got another one that I kind of use in and out for various things. But for the most part, we, like, rent out our camping equipment and vehicle. Uh, and that's the one we kind of uh, rent out the most because it's the, it's the smaller one. It's the one I really care about the most. All right. If you're going to wow us, you invite the men's room over, you're going to grill us one thing, but it's going to be your ultimate thing. What are you grilling us? Oh, man. I do, uh, I, I, I learned this from my mom, too, some uh, uh, teriyaki chicken wings. And uh, they take, All right. oh, they, they take like two, three hours to do, but they're, oh, they're what so they, good. What do they take so long? Are you smoking them first? They didn't direct heat? No, no. Well, I, I spend like 24 hours just uh, uh, marinating them, and then you, you slow cook them. Um, and uh, every 30 minutes, you take them out, you turn them, you re-season them, you re-put the teriyaki, you put them back in, mm. and uh, you do that for uh, five, six times. Or so. It's oh, so good. I'm sorry you got to do all this work, but when are you inviting us over? Because that sounds delicious. Just send it up here. Well, next time you guys are in Albuquerque, you know, come on come on oh, down. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 sure. No. Mm-hmm. We're told we shouldn't go there. It's too dangerous. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. In fact, I would advise not to come here. I've told my family that, too. They're like, when are we going to visit you? It's like, just don't. don't come <laughs> I'll come see you. Just don't. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, here is your question. Oh, wait a minute. Why are you in Albuquerque if it's that awful? Uh, so I was I was touring around before the pandemic doing uh, the, the stand-up comedy thing. And uh, and then I the RV that I was in got wrecked. Uh, I had met a girl. I was staying with her. The truck mm-hmm. got stolen. I called in about that a while ago. Yeah, I remember and, that. I do remember and, uh, that too. Yeah, yeah. So, so her and I really clicked. We started a photography business, and it's been it's been going good. There's a there's a town called Rio Rancho that's just north of Albuquerque. Really nice place. We moved up there because it's uh, it's a lot better. Because so it's not Albuquerque. Okay. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's your uh, question. Miles, people have questions on Twitter. Air fryer. What does that count as? Is it baking or is it frying? We have one other convection. convection. Oh, geez! I think right. that's I think that's baking, isn't it? I think technically it is baking because you're it's it's just convenient. It's an oven. You're not technically frying Correct. your food. That is called there's no fry. oil in there. So there you, you go. You can cook without oil. Yeah, you can't put food in a deep fryer without oil. <laughs> I mean, you can. No matter how it hot, just the won't do anything. Yeah, it's right. just, you're not. All right, Riley. Here's your question: What is the flattest continent on Earth? Flattest continent. The flattest. Oh, really, Antarctica. See, that was my it's guess. Be Australia. It is Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Australia, really? Huh. Well, apparently the tallest mountain in Australia is a two-hour day hike. Really? It's, it's just because a lot of people like to hike the, the tallest mountain on every continent. Sure. And they always end it in Australia, but it's just because that's the easy one. They there. can carry a beer to the top <laughs> and celebrate. Okay. All right. Here's your question. What type of wood did Noah build his ark with? What? what? Uh, oak. I don't know. No. Mike, you yeah. know, I saw you nodding. That's gopher wood. It is, in fact, gopher, gopher wood. wood. Gopher wood. Little gopher wood. Gopher, 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 gopher wood. <laughs> yes. He took a wrecked gopher penis. Gopher penises. wood. He was actually just telling him, gopher wood. Yeah. Bring right. it back to the gopher wood. <laughs> I'll be damned. Gopher wood. All right, Riley, your question. <laughs> That's almost as good as uh, trendy liquor. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what federal holiday was known as Armistice Day until a name change in 1954? Known as what day? Armistice Day. Armistice Day. Mm-hmm. 
Jeez, I don't know. I've never even heard of that. It's Valentine's Day. Jesus. No, nope. come <laughs> no on, idea. Mike. Think about it. It's Armistice, right? So basically, this Veterans is Day. Day? Veterans, Day? Veterans Day. That is correct. Um, that makes sense. Question three. <laughs> Question number three, what city was talk show host Jerry Springer mayor of from 1977 through 1978? Jerry Springer mayor of? He was a mayor. And I'll give you a hint. The city is in Ohio. I think he got busted there writing checks to prostitutes. I think he that's did. what it he was. He wrote a yeah. personal check. Oh, yes. Oh, no. like, yeah. Seriously, from yeah. his Wells Fargo account oh, to trendy liquor for right. 500 bucks, and they busted him. God, I don't. I don't know any cities in Ohio. It, uh, that, that, how about, uh, that, is the, that is the correct state. We can give you another hint. What do you got? Chili. Yeah, there you go. Chili? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scott? Yeah, now it's, I don't know. It's, I have to pass. I have no idea. And once you tell me, I'll, I'll freaking know it, too. But I, I, then just I, won't I, tell. We won't tell you. That way it won't bug you. Can you name Ellis <laughs> City in Ohio? I don't know any city in Ohio. Yes, I thought you, you said do. you crossed the country and went on a comedy tour. You never... No, that was in the that was just on the west side. I, I never really oh, crossed these. Oh, ah, yeah. it would be Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, Cincinnati. Of course, you heard of yeah. Cleveland? <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, now Columbus, Columbus Akron, Toledo, Akron, Dayton. Right. Oh gosh, yeah. Well, I got I got I got two different types of rum and a beer in front of me. I don't know anything today. <laughs> and don't worry, you're not missing anything by not going there. But they are in <laughs> fact in Ohio. They are there. <laughs> Towns in the United States. All right, the question. What actor voiced the character Ramon uh, and... Lo- Jesus. Ramon and Loveless in the movie Happy Feet, Genie in Aladdin, and uh, Garuda in Night at the Museum? Uh, the only one I know is Genie, and that's uh, Robin Williams. All right. Yeah, that's good enough. God damn. I think good. I butchered every name, though. He was also Teddy Roosevelt in Night at the Museum. That's right. One day, a couple of different yes. people are. That was just kind of his way of doing things, too. I feel like a lot of movies that he did, he played several characters. Right, because he had all the voices. Yeah. And it's one guy. Game is Big Dummy, 206 421 Rock. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. Rebecca, sober, not sober. Unfortunately, I'm sober. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you, uh, Rebecca, the same question I asked the other Rebecca. You like your Lucky Strikes filtered or unfiltered? I don't smoke. Oh, man, I can't tell. I can't tell. All right, Rebecca, men's room poll. You got to eliminate one method of cooking. Will it be grilling and barbecuing, frying or deep fried, baked or boiled? Uh, baked and boiled. Well, one or the other. Oh, man, I got to choose. Okay, boiled. Boiled it is. So no more coffee, no more beer, no more no pasta, whoa, 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 whoa. no more rice. I forgot about coffee. But you would you like to change your answer? Yeah, these are very important things right. to consider. You see, okay, baked, baked. So no more pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, this is gonna sound bad, but because of coffee and alcohol, like I'm switching to grilled. I'm going with grilled. Like I said, I just I love it the most. Eat it the least. Make it the least. But I'm not giving up beer. I'm just not. Coffee I kind of need because all the beer I drink. What about fried deep fried? Isn't that worth consideration in this? No. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. I just think there's too much stuff to make it a frying pan. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I okay. think, you know what? You can poach your eggs. I could, but I can also fry them. It's even like a scrambled egg. Technically, you're frying it, right? Yeah. Once you break it in. Grilled the cheese is called a grilled cheese, but it's technically being fried. Mm-hmm. Well, See, man? Uh, all right. <laughs> Here Sorry, is Rebecca. your question. Now we're doing it. We're worried about everybody else. What about a that? panini press? <laughs> Grills, all right. I think it's, no, is it? Yeah. 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 I guess yeah. it is. It's just a hot indoor. It's like the George Foreman grill, right. right? Okay. All right. Here's your question. Ben Haggerty from right here in Seattle is better known by what stage name? <laughs> oh, he's the guy from Friends. No. no ben Haggerty? Ben Haggerty? There's a guy that was on Friends. That, that was his last name. I believe, well, oh, well, there's a guy named Haggerty who, who lived with a bear on TV, but that's not the same one. That would I be Macklemore. It is, in fact, Macklemore. Oh. Professional oh. golfer now. Okay, then. All right, your question. Who released the albums at Folsom Prison and then at San Quentin Prison? Uh, Johnny Cash. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. The old prison tour there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
like prison. Were we trying to like do our show from a prison once? We it's like a decade we ago. We did because half our listeners were there. Yeah, like half our <laughs> listeners were incarcerated, right? That's not. And a, we were like that's not seriously. A joke. So we were like, why don't we just do a show mm-hmm. from there? Right? Like, what? Uh, basically, we were told by security and everyone else, like, you really, really don't want to do that, guys. Yeah. Your heart's in the right place. We're telling you, you, you don't want to do that. We're like, why? I know. <laughs> I'm still there. Mike, what's the face for? Come on, man. We can bring sausage. We're gonna do, we can bring beer. What could possibly go wrong? If we do it in Pierce County. You can't bring sausage and beer. <laughs> have them hook up the cornbread, right? Mm-hmm. Be <laughs> men's room day in the Pierce County. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what'd you do? I don't know. I didn't do anything. We're there for the homicide? Sweet. Here, have a sausage. <laughs> Game is a big dummy, 206 421 Rock. Hello, Danny. Welcome to the men's room. My dump button would be Hola. so sore. Hola. Hola. Danny, sober, not sober. Sober. Danny, welcome to Big Dummy. All right, our men's room poll. Eliminate one method of cooking. Grilling, barbecuing, fried or deep fried, baked or boiled. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get rid of grilling slash barbecuing. All right. Everyone has the same tone of voice. No one's happy to give up any one of them. But there's just something. No. Like, yeah, I just don't eat a lot of meat anyway, so it's like, I, you know, it's going to make camping okay. difficult maybe, but other than that, I'll provide it. For an example, if you go to Ruth Chris, they make their steak in, a, in an oven. Problem is, that oven gets up to like 800, 900 degrees. Yeah, that's why That's really why they good. say, don't touch that plate or you're going to die. Well, yeah, right. on the table. Your oven doesn't do that. Yeah, they're, it's, they're basically air frying it, based more or less, with high, you know... Yeah, you, you, what I'm saying is you can't get to that temperature at all. Right. So, <laughs> no. You might be able to do it with, a, with charcoal on a grill, but unless you set your oven to clean and then throw a steak in there. Huh? <laughs> all right, here's your question. Which Spice Girl was the only one named after an actual spice? <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. We got... Uh, Ted's favorite. Not Baby. Just not a pinch Melody. of Spooky. <laughs> Uh, um, spice. I don't know. Oh, come on, ginger, 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 ginger. 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 Oh man, I I should have known. I had the CD when I was a kid. But. Really? Wow, this will shock you. I was, I was always a baby fan. Just was, two tablespoons oh. of sporty, and he had the CD, but he wasn't listening to it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was looking at the liners. Mm. I, dude, I could see the cover of that CD right now. Is that what you have oh, an erection? God. Ginger Spice, actually, besides being a Spice Girl, a lot of people know her now because a lot of people watched F1 Drive to Survive, and she's married to the team principal of Red Bull. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I heard she's married to a Red Bull guy. I didn't realize. That guy sucks. <laughs> like, I just married Ginger? Nah, he's, I don't know. I just don't, a lot of people don't like Christian. He doesn't come off the best. You don't care show. for him, okay. I don't care for him. <laughs> All right there, Danny, here's your question. How many pounds have you lost? If you burn 3,500 calories. Um, that's one pound. One pound! Right. One pound! Very good. 3,500 calories. That's a lot of running, man. That's a workout. And you drop one pound. That would be the equivalent of probably like a eight-mile run. All right. Somewhere in there. I mean, yeah, see, no. Hour and at least a half. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's too much. Don't do that. No. Game is Big Dummy 206 421 Rock. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 20 million dollars, 19 million dollars, six million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.